Today's topic is arc length. We'll find an expression for arc length of the arc curve between two points. Let, uh, let the curve be this. We'll find an expression between A to B. So let A to B let R equal to RT be the parametric representation of the curve if the parametric representation of the curve C and we have to determine the length of the arc between A to B. Now let del be any subdivision of the interval AB. Suppose we take here A, here B. So by points we'll take a equal to tenant then less equal t1 less equal t2 less equal t3 tet 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 tn equal to b our last point is b and we suppose this is up to n terms so the last term will be tn equal to b now corresponding to the subdivision delta we have the length of the polygon is described to arc by joining the successive points so if the points be p naught equal to a next point p1 of t1 p2 of t2 and dot dot pn which will be p then the length will be L delta equal to summation of I equal to 1 to N PI minus 1 PI that will be I equal to 1 to 1 as we have the parametric representation so that will be RTI minus or TI minus 1 now again we know that the sum of the sides of a triangle is greater than the third side so that if we increase the number of the points of the subdivision the length of the polygon will be increased so let uh, delta be all possible subdivision of a to b then we know that ti minus 1 to ti r dot t dt equal to our ti minus our ti minus 1 here we get a question here r dot t is the derivative of tr by yes it's equal to r to t now <coughs> thus we get from these two this and this we can write L dash equal to 
summation of I two one two. Oh, sorry, I have a uh, mistake. We have to write is N. This will be N. This is my mistake. So I two N. Summation of Ti minus one Ti or the T dt. We take it as question two. Now, by squares inequality, we have the h equal to summation i equal to 1 to n summation of ti minus 1 to ti or to t tt is equal summation of i equal to 1 to n ti minus 1 to ti r dot t dt this we can write a to b R dot T T T. Now let now we give it a equation three equation number. Now let S equal to now let S equal to S T denote the arc length from a to any point T then the arc length from T naught equal to A to T will be at S2 where S T naught where we have seen that A equal to T naught less equal t less than less equal b hence from this equation we can write we can write as t as t naught less equal t naught to t r to t dt again by the definition of arc length we have rt minus rt naught as equal s t minus s t naught so from these two we have r t minus r t naught Less equal S T minus S T naught by T minus T naught less equal one by T minus T naught T 
to 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 not to not to t or dot t t t. So proceeding the limit t to t not, we have r dot t not. Less equal is to t not less equal or t not. So, evaluation we can conclude that is to t not equal to r dot t naught is true for any value t naught in the range of t so therefore we have s equal to s t equal to a to v r dot t t t This is the arc length between A to B of the curve.